I was an actress, as I told you, and, um, and my father also committed suicide, okay? So, this is over oh, three years ago, and I was in the show on Broadway. And um, I, uh, I had started thinking that I wanted to write. And I began writing this story, but as a novel. And I call it Anything Your Little Heart Desires. And I wrote a part, like half of it, when I was backstage in my dressing room in Mary Mary. I really did. But because the, the circumstances of my family were so powerfully emotional and tormented and tragic, uh, it did take me 40 years to write it because I didn't know how to write then, you see. I was, I was like we were starting out. I was beginning to realize that I wanted to be a writer, but I didn't know how to write this book. I did remember, you know, this kind of, of incident vividly. I could never forget this. It was like one of the most powerful sort of memories and also it was kind of became a legend in our house that my father had saved my brother's life. And he also saved it again when my, my brother almost drowned. Things like that I always remembered. But I didn't know how to tell the whole story of my father, who was this fascinating character, a very political lawyer for the Hollywood Tender and Blacklist, worked for Robert Kennedy. Many, many, he did many wonderful things in his life, political activist. Uh, I wanted to tell that story too. But I technically, I didn't have the craft, so I had to wait until I had become both an editor and then later a journalist. This is a period of over 20, 25 years before I actually started the book itself. But I still had these notes that I had taken um, in my dressing room, copious notes, thank God. And I also, by the way, I kept a journal. I've always kept a journal, which I urge you to do. Uh, kept a journal since I was 17 years old. And the journal, I think, is, gets better as time goes on. And in the beginning, I was just writing crazy little notes. But bit by bit, I began writing incidents that, that affected me. And I wanted to remember people, of sketches and portraits and stuff. But Back to this book again, it became not only a memoir but a biography in that it's historical. Because my father actually was part of history in a small way because he was involved with the Hollywood Tan and with Robert Kennedy. So that I had to research, uh, which is usually you don't research in a memoir. So this is kind of a hybrid form. It's like both, uh, both memoir and biography. Because I did I interviewed people who had known him, who remembered him people who had worked with him. Uh, and by the same token, I also drew from my mother's journals. My mother was a, a writer. She had written one book. She started out as a columnist at, uh, on this call bullet in San Francisco. She's a crime reporter, actually. And, uh, and uh, so she, she also had a lot of notes that I ultimately used in this. I mean, it's filled with, with detail, thank God, because of all of the, the stuff that was my mother saved their newspaper stuff, interviews, it's a combination of everything.